today we'll learn about development of a basting stitch basting means a rough stitch many a times it is done on a garment to secure the garment parts together and other times it is used to put pieces together for the ease of assembly of garment pieces so for the development of this sample you need a piece of fabric need to fold the fabric by turning it twice once and the second time like this after folding you can put all pins on top of it so that the section secure uh, you are able to secure the portion and you are also able to hold it in place and stitch comfortably after doing this the next step is uh, you take a needle and a thread so here i have the needle that is that has already been threaded there is no set rule to take a double thread or a single thread for a basting stitch i prefer taking a single stitch a uh, single thread to develop the stitch so before we start we need to first put a knot on one end of your thread so it should be such that one end of your thread is shorter and the other one is long so this is the longer one that has a knot placed on it after this the next step would be that you start doing a running stitch or a basting stitch so how it is done to do a basting stitch we will start from inside the layer i prefer starting from inside the layer so that i can hide the knot inside the layers after this uh, for beginners you can always draw a line over here on the topmost side for the ease of stitching but because i am doing a running and uneven stitch right now so for that i don't need to even draw a line so the let's get started with the process down and up so when i go down i have to go totally down onto the front side now you can pull the thread you can see it is same on both the sides but because i'm saying it is an uneven basting stitch that i'm doing so i'm not going to worry about the width of my stitch i'm i'll go on and on without taking care of the width of my stitch so you might see it's going bigger shorter or it can be going a little in the diagonal direction doesn't matter because this is just to hold the pieces of fabric together so we'll continue with this till the other end of my sample you can see this is a running uneven basting stitch uneven as i said we are not taking care of the length of the stitch on either sides we are not even checking the direction so it's in a few cases going a little diagonal but doesn't worry doesn't matter you can go on like this thank you